Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is episode number 18 in our series, Getting Started with Rails 7. So uh, we spent the last few episodes kind of between the create and delete of comments doing some refactoring. So we went in and um, used some concerns. We refactored some of the, the forms and um, showing comments into um, partials, which we'll, we'll edit one of those partials in this episode. And then uh, last episode, we went in and refactored some of our tests. We've been doing this with a, a test-driven development um, style. So uh, we went in and took some of our repeated test code and refactored that into some uh, a test helper module and some, some other test methods to help um, modular, modularize those tests. So we'll continue on with the Rails guide here. We're going to be um, destroying uh, comments now. So we'll go in and um, get back to articles here. And we'll, I guess, take this should work here and we'll create a spam comment that we want to get rid of. So social media giant have you registered to vote so we're back this is now January 1st 2022 so we're back in an election year and I should expect to see the, um, the spam propaganda boxes coming back up so we've got now this spam comment and we want to be able to get rid of it so we're going to go into the the comment um, partial here. So we go to views, comments, comment.html.erb. And as we noted in episode 10, when we tried to destroy an article, when you add in the destroy method using trying to use the um, the the code in this guide here it's not going to work the way that you would intend it to because the uh, the the guide is still using the uh, and I need a paragraph here so we'll make this. Before we say that we'll add a failing test to our articles controller test that um, we will now have in our dot destroy comment should have one of those or uh, number of comments minus one of those because we've got one that's archived and doesn't show up when we we do our show action and then also because we're be we'll be dealing with the um, some JavaScript interactions with the confirm box. We're going to add to our um, our articles um, uh, system test case here for uh, destroying a comment. So we're going to I'll pause and write the um, the that whole show. Um, destroying a comment uh, test to our um, to our system test case here. So let's take a look at what we're doing here in the uh, destroying a comment section here. So we're going to, uh, we have a spam commenter and a spam body. We visit the article URL, which is where we add comments. We're gonna fill in the commenter and body 
sections of the form with those spam body and commenter values. And then we're going to click on create comment because the, uh, the drop down has a, uh, a status of uh, public. We'll just leave that as is. Then it, this should uh, redirect back to the comment. We'll assert that the commenter and the body exist. And then this will add it as the last comment. So we'll do a an accept confirm, destroy the comment, match the last value there. And then we should see uh, comment was successfully destroyed. And then we should see um, the article title, not the spam comment or not the spam body, and then uh, the comments and add a comment uh, sections on those. Uh, we're also going to go in to our uh, comment controller test. And we have uh, test should create comment here. I'm going to go and add test should delete comment or should destroy comment. So we've got our now expected failing, uh, just should destroy comment. So we'll uh, pick the last comment on the article, assert that the comment count goes down by one. I'm going to delete the article path uh, with the, um, the article and the comment as parameters, and then um, assert that we get redirected back to that article path or the article with the, uh, the flash notice equal to comment was successfully destroyed. So we should now have, before I add in the uh, link to destroy comment here, uh, three different places where we're failing. So the, the articles controller test show will fail because we don't have this um, section here with the link. Uh, we should have a failure in our uh, articles controller test system test here where we're doing the the browser driven um, no sorry this is um, articles test which is not yeah, there it is uh, so that will um, should fail when we get to destroy comment here um, and then our comments controller test we haven't implemented the destroy action yet so we will uh, also fail on that. So I'm going to now run those tests. Run all of them because we've got some failures we're going to see in that is in comments controller test line 33. I've got a syntax error. article comment path for one. And then we've got no dot ID comma Now we should still get some errors, but we'll at least have working syntax. So we've got one failure and two errors. The um, so we can't do last for match. So last doesn't work. So we're going to try to find it by Let's see if I can get the selector here.
local ID. if that gives us what we need. I mean, it's not going to find it anyway because we haven't put that in there. But So, no route matches. Illegal selector was specified. We'll let that stay failed for right now and start adding in some of the uh, information for getting this working. So our link to destroy comment here, comment.article comment. Uh, method delete is going to be gone here and then data turbo confirm let me make sure that I've got it matching what had here turbo method symbol delete turbo confirm are you sure so oh, that should get us once we so that should get our um, our show on, on articles controller test um, back to passing. So we should be down to, uh, to just the two errors. No, we still have one failure and two errors. Comments controller. Where's our other error? P destroy dash comment found zero. You just run it without the um, without the all for a minute. So we got destroy comment. Oh. And uh, underscore rather than a hyphen. That gets us down to the one error. We've got no route um, matches show. Where did we? 
fail here. Comment test 33. Delete article comment path. need to just get rid of the the array notation there action could destroy could not be found for the comments controller so we'll add that in That should get us to a new error, a uh, failure. So didn't change by one because we didn't destroy it. Uh, we'll make this find article a before action, similar to how we did Intent that. Move that here. Now we can continue on with the rest of this. So the Comment. We'll add all this in. And then we need status C other. Notice comment was successfully destroyed. All right, so that got us to passing with our non-system test. We're still going to get the failure for the illegal selector, I'm pretty sure, in the valid or illegal spe selector was specified. Let's take a look now at our actual item here and So let's, I'll jump into the um, JavaScript here and see if I can get the selector working. All right, so it looks like I might need to enclose this in quotes. Yeah, so let me see if that solves things for our articles test here. So we'll put single quotes here because we've already got the, uh, the interpolation for the double quotes. And I need that closing bracket as well. See if that gets us anywhere. Let's 
So we made it all the way down to, I think I need the slash. You try it with the slash. ambiguous match error AC maybe instead of find I need to use a different selector yeah so I think I need to use within instead of find here Still oh, because we don't have that's finding too far down in the in the chain, so we need to do that in the parent. So I wonder if I can just do that, but so that's, the, that's the element I want. Wonder if I can, well, for right now, add a block comment here. Doesn't look promising. So I think I'm going to get around this by using the DOM ID helper in the create a div here um, surrounding this. And ID equals Give us what we want. So we'll save that, see what happens to our page source here. So yeah, so that'll within div and then comment and then our comment ID. That should give us what we need. Get rid of those. And then the 
this is going to be div comment underscore should work, I hope. And it does. Let's see, make sure that we didn't break anything by including that. So that's working and now let's make sure that our in our user acceptance test here that this works as I'd expect. So I want to destroy this comment. We do see the are you sure um, modal dialog here. We click OK and it goes back to the article. The comment was successfully destroyed. And that gives us what we want. Take a look back at the guide. So destroy action will find the article we're looking at and then uh, remove it, send us back to the show action of the article. And then this section, uh, deleting associated objects. So we had to go back and we completed this already. So if we see has many comments dependent destroy, we go into our article model We have has many comments dependent destroy and we, we went back and that was necessary in order to make all of our existing tests not break so back when we were doing adding a second model here where we went has many comments in section 8.2 we went and completed that already so I think we are done with section 10 here We will add everything. I'll review, make sure our diffs, review our diff. So we uh, refactored out the um, a before action to set the article in our comments controller. We added a destroy action and then move, kind of moved our uh, comment params down. The uh, comment uh, .html.erb, we um, we changed the nesting on it so that everything was listed within a uh, an, a div with an ID equal to the, the DOM ID of that resource. Uh, and that allowed us to then in our, it still had the, that number of destroy comments in our um, article controller. This is the destroy, the test for destroy in our comments controller and then in our articles test that um, DOM ID allowed us to select the specific comment with the spam body which was the last one that we had had there and then destroy it and then assert that our um, all of our JavaScript and everything was working as intended so we'll add our Add and commit our code. Close others to make sure I didn't leave anything unsaved. Add my commit message. So we've got our commit message. Save it. Make sure our working directory is clean. It is. And we'll push to the remote and we'll take out a look at basic authentication in the next video. Want to create your own Ruby gem but don't know where to start? Code along with me on the end-to-end -end journey of the Nerd Dice project. We'll configure and publish the gem, use GitHub Actions to trigger builds and tests, and create magic methods with Ruby metaprogramming that can roll any number of dice, all while using a test-driven approach. Go to statelesscode.com slash nerddicegem to level up. 
Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.